Hi, this is Sandy Adams with Chapter by Chapter. We're encouraging people to read a chapter of their Bible every day. Here's a 90-second summary from the book of Acts. This is episode 8. We hope it whets your appetite and causes you to read the whole chapter. Jesus commanded his disciples to go into all the world. So far, they've been content to hang out at home. But Jerusalem is no longer a safe place. Saul, instigator of Stephen's stoning, is waging a one-man war against the church. In Acts chapter 8, God uses persecution to deploy his troops. Philip goes to Samaria. People are saved. One of the new converts was a sorcerer named Simon. He had deceived the people with his sleight of hand for many years. Now he was amazed at Philip's genuine miracles. Philip was an evangelist. He preached to see people saved. But there's more to the Christian life than salvation. Salvation is merely the tip of the iceberg. The Holy Spirit not only lives in us, but He comes upon us with power. Peter and John come to impart this power. Simon tries to make a purchase. How sad when men believe they can buy spiritual power with carnal cash. Philip obeys an impractical command. He leaves the midst of revival and travels down a wilderness road that leads to nowhere. But God's purpose gets clearer when he arrives. He meets an Ethiopian in search of the truth. He preaches Jesus, and the Ethiopian is converted. Never question God's commands. His reasons always end up rational. Philip baptizes the new believer with a divine dunk, then gets raptured to Azotus. I bet he never forgot his trip to the tumbleweeds.